Hey, greetings everyone at Shaman Ra, Sonona's Dream Tree. Ah, yeah, so, um, you know, as usual, wake up, ice on my camping gear. My sheepskin's all destroyed, so I managed to get one of those uh, foam roll-up things, so hopefully that works a little better. Granted, it won't trap as much heat as the sheepskin, but it'll keep me a little more dry, so we'll see if that balances itself out somehow. Uh, that's come to my attention. A lot of strange things are happening. It just seems like, uh, you know, like on Steam It, I don't seem to have as many followers and people upvoting and commenting that I once had. And, you know, that kind of makes me sad after the whole Facebook thing because that's even less people I get to interact with. And, you know, it seems like my phone is against me or something. It seems like it picks and chooses which texts I can send out. Uh, if I send a text that's about something that might be a little controversial, it seems like the text won't send. But then if I try to do another text to the exact same person and just be like, hello, or something like that, it'll go right through. So my own phone is against me also. Uh, you know what, that's cool. Be against me, phone. Do whatever you want. I don't care. Um, it's not like very many people listen to what me and so many others are out there trying to, you know, tell people anyway, so. For all I know, it's a waste of my time, and I'd be better off just playing video games or something, and screwing around, and being completely worthless or something. Ah, I don't know. Ah, geez. Oh yeah, and then there's this other thing, and maybe I should share this on Steam it, I don't know. It's the only social media I have at the moment, but uh, 10 years ago, I researched my name by Googling it, and after much uh, digging, you know, I discovered it seems that I'm the only uh, guy with my name on the globe, which made me feel special because, hey, I'm the only one. I'm not a John Brown, and I have 20 million competitors also named John Brown. However, I repeated that same experiment today, and I found an article that had to do with some case of, um, I guess it was, you know, being abusive towards women kind of a thing, and uh, being in prison for 10 years. And the name in that article was Brandon Truster. So I'm like, well, who's this other Brandon Truster? And, you know, I can't find any other one except for me. So, what was that, some kind of fake article, clickbait thing, with my name in it to, uh, oh, what do they call it, that crime that you're not supposed to do. Oh, uh, defamation of character? I'm kind of curious of who wrote that article, if a person even did it at all. As far as I know, that was uh, an article pushed to, put together by an automated process. I don't know, but... Um, Seems to me it makes a lot of sense that maybe one of the reasons why I've had such a crappy online presence and why so much of my art and music have not sold is because there's a really negative article out there with my name in it. And it's so funny how the article says that the person was put in prison for 10 years. Well, uh, it's only been two years since that article was published, and I haven't been put in prison, so yeah. Something to think about, people. It's just a little more proof that probably 99% of the news that you're seeing on your social media and on TV, it's fake. It's completely made up, or it's staged in some way, and they try to pass it off in a way that is enough to convince you that it's real, just like with those wildfires. I'm sorry, those wildfires. I'm not going to say there aren't fires out there, but they're not spreading because of trees and dry conditions. They're deliberately started. Because if these are wildfires, how can a mansion burn to the ground, be complete dust? But all the trees around it are just fine. That's uh, because that can't happen. That was a controlled burn. And they're playing you for fools. Uh, anyways, I'm out to seek some food and a place to chill out for a little bit. So... I'll talk to you guys later. Take care.